I must admit, I'm 100% cheating here. Time goes by, yeah, you and I are running out, running out. Time goes by, I'll change my mind about you and I, you and I. So would you stay? Okay, so I'm here actually on vacation. Uh, it's the last full day here and it's sunset here up here in Bon Echo Provincial Park. We've had some interesting weather here. Um, it's uh, a lot of rain and, and whatnot. Uh, so I really didn't get a chance to do too much photography. But basically it's a very simple scene here, dock, lake. Can't really tell from this camera, but the clouds are very purpley at the moment. Uh, so I'm just doing a long exposure uh, with my camera down here. Uh, it is Sony A7R3, 16 to 35 on it, and I have nine stops. So I have a little stopper uh, from Lee Filters and as well as a three stopper just to get 30 seconds, F8. Uh, here's the image now. What you'll notice in this image is that I did try to center the dock in the middle of the frame with the two chairs being foreground interest. Now, unfortunately, just the way things worked out and just the construction of the dock, the image isn't fully balanced. Now, I think the other thing that throws this particular photograph off balance, at the top of the photo are some leaves from a branch that was overhanging into my composition. So I believe those leaves are causing a bit of a distraction and causing the photo to be a bit unbalanced. If the leaves were a little more centered, it might have been a little better. But as you'll notice here, I've removed them from the image and I think it makes the image just a bit stronger. Do let me know down in the comments whether, just from a compositional point of view, whether you think those leaves add to the image or is best to remove them. So it's hard to see here. I'll zoom in a little. Bam. So there's this little outcrop, small tree on it, some nice moss. And I was kind of hoping tonight to capture a sunset shot with the, some side light coming in. Uh, but unfortunately, a lot of this cloud cover came in, which kind of prevented me from getting that shot uh, with you know some nice light on it. But even then, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm going to pull out my camera um, and I'm just gonna try it. Uh, one, I wanna see if, if even without the light, whether the image has possibility. So this is just a quick uh, test shot. So what I'm actually gonna do um, is pull out, I think my 100 to 400, because currently 1635 is too wide, because really I'm just trying to get a nice intimate scene, because I don't want that boat, uh, the nice pontoon boat in the back or anything else. I will 100% admit, when I took the photo and looked at it in the back of my camera, I'm like, why did I even bother? Now that I've got it back in the Lightroom, I'm looking at it and going, why, oh why, didn't I try to explore the scene a little more? So this is a very simple scene, it's still a little messy, but definitely with the editing that I did do, brought it to this image here. So there is definitely something there and I should have wrecked the scene. Now, the other thing is I was standing on the dock and you'll see the settings here. I definitely had not only more reach with uh, my 100 to 400, but I also should have gotten into water. So great tip, landscape photography, move your feet. Don't just look in the back of the screen take images, explore it, explore a scene and see what you can create. And only once you get it back in the Lightroom and then a little bit of Photoshop, you'll never know what the image could be unless you take more. What I did here with this image is I did crop it in because when I was editing the image, I noticed this and I should have noticed this while I was in the field. When you have the opportunity, zoom with your feet 
try different elevations, try different crops, you know, do wide, medium, tight. Without doing that, you'll never truly know what images are there. So I hope you learn from my mistake so you can improve upon your own photography or your next photo adventure. Shot here, F8, uh, 13 second exposure. I have my little stopper on. Uh, as you can see from exposure or the histogram there, it's a little bit on the left, but still plenty of room. Uh, the colors in the sky are actually a little more purpley than what's showing on the back of the monitor, but still not a lot of great light, but still uh, interesting enough clouds, nice reflection. As you can see here with the image I just took, there you go. Uh, and here is the edited image right now. I must admit, I'm 100% cheating here. As you kind of see here, Cottage, mentioned that a little earlier. Uh, first night, and actually it's the last night here, I really got out the, the camera, flying the drone a lot earlier. Uh, but very peaceful. My stomach's actually a little grumbly because I've not eaten dinner yet. There's some kebabs on the go there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave you with this uh, time lapse. Uh, then I'm gonna just let it run um, until basically uh, nighttime or my belly's full of kebabs. So once again, I very much appreciate you watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and until next time. Time goes by, I change my mind about you and I, you and I. So would you stay for a minute so I can be brave? Let me catch my breath, now I can't